there are larger issues at stake here. Um, deaths in custody should not be happening at all. Um, the, uh, I personally find it very hard to believe that the police, at the first instance, couldn't establish how Tio Wing Hong died. I'm sorry. Unless there is a cover-up, there is no reason why, with their skills, they could not determine within 24 hours why he died. I find that hard to believe. I still find it hard to believe. And the tragedy is uh, that because of the delay, so much of the evidence has uh, gone missing. Some can, some can actually stand up and say some of it has been destroyed. Knowing that there's an ongoing investigation, ongoing inquest, and a potential uh, Royal Commission of Inquiry, how can any evidence be destroyed? So, uh, in my view, this smacks of a cover-up from day one. And I think all the public know it. So I really wish they would stop trying to pull the wool over our eyes. And that's what I want to see from the Royal Commission of Inquiry. Now, initially, the Royal Commission of Inquiry uh, did not participate so much. I mean, they were quiet when the evidence was being led, etc. But I'm happy to see recently that they have jumped into the ring and they have also questioned some of the MACC officers. And I believe that's what they should do. I believe that's what the coroner, the, the, the person holding the inquest ought to have done as well. Because if you really want to get to the bottom of it, the person conducting the inquiry must also uh, 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 express their views if they feel that there is something uh, uh, that is that, that lacks credibility that is going on. This is not just an ordinary court of law. This is an inquest or uh, rather this is a royal commission that is supposed to inquire, that is supposed to carry out uh, its own efforts to arrive at the truth. So I'm happy to see they're participating. My own view is they should be participating a lot more. Now, the reports of the inquest, I'm very unhappy that we do not get verbatim reports in the public domain. And I'm talking about our press. I'm talking about, uh, and I know it's not the reporter's fault. Huh? I'm not blaming you. But we must, we ought to be getting as the public uh, a blow-by-blow -blow account about what is happening in the Royal Commission of Inquiry. That's the whole point. The Royal Commission of Inquiry has been set up for the public, to serve the public interest. What is the use if we don't know what is being said and we don't know what is going on there? So I would call for a verbatim report of the Royal Commission of Inquiry proceedings to be made available to the public. Um, and I think that is something that is owed to us, that is owed to the family of Tio Bing Hong, that is owed to the public, that is owed to every person who has died in custody. Now, Irene made a very good point. Uh, once there is a death in custody, the burden to me is on the authorities who are holding you in custody. You cannot come to court and say, I was sleeping, we don't know where he was, we don't know how he was, sorry. He walked in there because you wanted to question him, he ends up dead. It's your responsibility to explain how that happened. Now all we get, and then uh, in the recent Royal Commission of Inquiry, you get uh, uh, something, there was something about phone records. Oh, why didn't you produce this in the coroner's court? Oh, we were not asked. Is that how you answer as an officer? Is that how you answer? Is that what you're telling the public? If I'm not asked, I'm not telling. Is that what they say? That to me is shocking. They should be helping to establish the truth. They really ought to be helping to establish the truth. And the Attorney General's Chambers, the, the pushing the issue of suicide, to me is appalling. It's an appalling move by the Attorney General's Chambers. The very fact that they, are, they want to review it to push the suicide uh, theory is shocking. On the one hand, and on the other hand, there's, there's purportedly assisting the, the, the Royal Commission of Inquiry. How can that be? How can that be? And, and somehow, it just carries on. The objection is made, people make a fuss about it, and they just carry on. But unfortunately, if it carries on in that fashion, the credibility of the Royal Commission of Inquiry will be affected. But nevertheless, let that be the case. I still feel that there is an attempt at a cover-up. From what I have read so far, and unfortunately it's not verbatim, so I will only go by what is available in the public domain, so I 
I stand corrected. To me, this smacks of a cover-up. It has always smacked of a cover-up. And that is something that's very easy to determine. And uh, why nobody has said it, why the, the person even who heard the inquest, because what is the point of an inquest? If, if it is not to delve deep, and if you're not getting answers from officers, they should be put on the mat. Why is it you're not able to give us answers? Why is it your investigations are short? I'm hoping the RCI will ask those questions of these officers. Now, I, uh, finally, I mean, I, 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 there are others who are here to speak, and there's just one thing I would like to say. Um, I, I am very glad the Bar Council is there, because somebody must take these people to task. Uh, but I am disappointed um, because I believe also that there is a responsibility on the medical personnel who give evidence. Uh, and if it falls short of the professional standard, I would invite the Malayan Medical Association to please give their views. Because only they can do it. If they, if they fall short in anything that they say or do, or if their reports uh, make statements which they are not entitled to make, I would invite the Malayan Medical Council or Malayan Medical Association to take a stand because to me they are professionals. They are professionals assisting in arriving at the truth. Uh, but I will leave Dr. McCoy to, <laughs> to uh, deal with, with that issue. I think uh, that's really, yes, the psychiatrist, let me just finish with that. What has, the, what has the mental health of the family got to do with the case at hand? Absolutely nothing. Now, you want to talk about mental state? Uh, really, we don't know what your Wenhock went through. God knows what that poor man went through. Why is it we're not able to find that out? Why is it we're not able to get to the bottom of the interrogation techniques that were used? There are so many reports about how MACC behaves. Why should we believe they behave any differently this time? There are so many reports of, of torture, of, of methods that are used. So I hope there is a serious inquiry into the methods used by the MACC. Because even with the public outcry, even with everybody talking about deaths in custody, it still happens. What does that tell you? They don't care. They don't care what we're seeing. And it boils down to what Irene says. They have no respect for life and liberty this is the authorities. They have no respect for life and liberty. The Royal Commission of Inquiry must come get to the bottom of this matter. Thank you.